It's my birthday! Guess who's 23? Me. I don't know how I feel about that. I really, really don't. Um, e 23. What a weird feeling. But here I am. I'm in one of my favorite outfits today. I've got my favorite earrings in and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a get ready with me. I decided I'm gonna use this palette today. This is the Odin's Eye Solomon 2 Moon Wish palette. These were sent to me in PR very kindly by Odin's Eye, so I decided, you know what, let's play around with this. Now, I did have a little bit of a mind blank today. Like, I knew I wanted to do something a little bit different because it's my birthday. So I had to go on Instagram because my creativity... It wasn't flowing today. She was she was asleep today. So I found this look by Lamario.makeup and her look is definitely more of a like green and orange kind of look. But I decided it would be kind of cool if for the eyeshadow part, I use purples and yellows and then I do like a blue wing. You know, I'm changing it up a little bit, but this is definitely our like inspiration today. But just before we do jump into the video, if you have not already, like and subscribe. Also interact with this video in some way. Give me a comment, give me a share, all that kind of stuff. It really helps me out with the algorithm. I love bright, fun, colorful makeup. I love project panning, get ready with me's. I'm dabbling in reviews as well. So if that sounds like a good time, then definitely stick around. But today I wanna just unpack the last year. I really like using birthdays almost like New Year's, you know, like reflecting on the past year, how I've grown, what I do differently, what I wanna do next year, just like plans. I'm just, yeah, where I am in the world right now because I mean, when you're watching this, I'm living it up, let me tell you that. So I'm gonna use some tape because it's a pretty, pretty sharp cut and I'm not doing that on my own. So normally for a winged look, I'd probably go like here but obviously we need that liquid liner to like be prominent. So I'm gonna go quite high. This feels so unnaturally high. Oh, I don't like that. That's way too long. What was I thinking? Hang on. Okay, that's a lot better. <laughs> oh dear, I was not continuing this whole video with just like an absolute yard of tape on my eye. No. And then let's try and get the same angle on the other eye. What do we think? What do we think? I think that's good. No, it's not. Hang on. Oh no. <laughs> I'm actually a bit nervous. I don't do these like intense looks too often anymore. I have said before, I definitely want to get into doing them more because I miss them. But I am going to start with a black. There is no black in the Odin's Eye palette. So I'm going to take my trusty Carnival XL Pro and I'm just going to jump straight into it. So where am I today? Well, if you are not new, to my channel over the past few weeks, you will know that I am actually on holiday right now. Whoopie doo, I'm so excited. I am actually pre-filming this, so when I'm filming this, it's not even September, which feels very strange. But yeah, I'm in Seville, which is my favorite city in the whole world. And I am with my boyfriend and I am hopefully living it up. I cannot wait to go back. I've not been on holiday for years. I think my last holiday, my last holiday was Iceland, but that was like years ago. And I, I just want to go somewhere sunny. I just want to go somewhere sunny, somewhere bright, somewhere like colorful, happy, historic. Oh my gosh. We actually weren't going to go on holiday this year. Me and Ben had decided, you know, no holidays. We can't afford it. Money's a little bit tight right now. But then I think I just like wore him down so much. And I was like, look, oh my God, cheap flights on my birthday. And he was like, oh my God, okay, fine. We will go on holiday for your birthday. So that's my little birthday present. I'm so unbelievably excited. We do come back on the 8th, which I don't want to go back. I'm not even gone on holiday yet, but I don't want to come back, you know? I'm going to be absolutely gutted. I want to live out there one day. Like Seville is like my dream holiday home destination. I just think it's so gorgeous. If you've been to Seville, let me know down below because I already know you're gonna absolutely be obsessed just like I am. And yeah, I am so excited. I've been pre-filming a hell of a lot because obviously I'm going away 
And that has stressed me out. I do have an office job as well and I've been trying to get ahead as much as possible. I've also had to be planning a lot of things. I'm not going to jump into things too much in this video, but there's a few there's a few goodies happening on this channel very very soon as soon as i get back from seville things are changing a hell of a lot here in a good way in a good way not in a bad way um but yeah i'm i'm just so excited about that but things like that have taken a lot of planning i'm being very very ominous right now i know but just stick around stay tuned okay i'm gonna make like a cut crease shape with that black eyeshadow but yeah this past year has been quite a quiet year actually um i left uni and i left liverpool in june of last year so that was over a year ago but i feel like i've been recovering i feel like this year has been my recovery year because um if you weren't around for that that was a very very traumatic experience just over a year ago a lot of trauma I feel like I've really come out of myself this year. I feel like I am who I was meant to be. And I'm so happy about that. Ooh, that shape is kind of cool. I'm loving that. That's pretty. But no, I feel like this past year has just been a year of really finding myself again. Um, it will mark one year since no contact with my ex, thank God. A year since I got the money back that he owed me, a year since I just blocked him and just started moving on with my life and being so unbelievably happy. I feel like I can never talk when I'm doing the more like intricate parts of eye looks. So I just feel like I'm like doing a bit of makeup and then talking. But once we get onto the blending, I'm hoping that I can um, actually talk to you because whenever I do these more intricate parts, I cannot talk for the life of me. <laughs> As I said before, I do reflect a lot um, on my birthday. This is so much higher. Oh no. Um, but I do reflect a lot on my birthday and I remember last birthday sitting down with myself and just thinking that this year is gonna be so good for me. And honestly, it it has been. This year has probably been the best year of my whole life and I'm not even, I'm not even over exaggerating. I have shed so much like trauma. I've shed so many people that just don't belong in my life anymore. I have gained so many amazing people in my life. Me and Ben had our one year anniversary not too long ago and I mean that again an amazing relationship you know a complete 180 from what I was used to and I feel like this year has just been about self-love and accepting me and being in a safe environment. I feel like when I was at uni, I was not in a safe environment whatsoever. I did not feel like I was living my best life. I felt like uni was such a struggle. And I actually remember it was not too long into our relationship. Sorry, I'm looking for a brush. I literally... <sighs> I need to clean my brushes because this is a joke. But yeah, not too long into mine and Ben's relationship, I actually had a breakdown to him, like a full on mental breakdown. And it was because it was relief. That was what it was. It was the craziest experience because it all just hit me that I was away from everything now and I was safe and I was like happy. And it just, it made me cry. It made me feel so unbelievably emotional because I'd got out of that situation. And I've not spoken to anyone from uni in a year. Not spoken to anyone, not met up with anyone, not anything. And that just says so much to me. It just says like, they are not your people. And that's fine. Like, I'm not gonna be clinging to people who are not my people. But it just proves to me that the reason that I was so unhappy at uni, it was because of who I was surrounding myself with. They weren't my people. And that is absolutely fine. I was saying to one of my coworkers the other day, it's crazy that I was so unhappy all the way through education. And then as soon as I leave education and go into the real world where real people are, I am the happiest I have ever ever been in my life and I'm a hundred percent like putting my my stamp of approval on that 
I truly, truly am. And I'm just so excited for what's to come and the future. As I said, I've got something very exciting coming up very soon. And I'm just like, I'm so ready for it. If you'd have told me just over a year ago that this is where I would be now, I would not have believed you at all. I would call you a liar. I would, I would be so like not, <laughs> not even thinking that this is where I was gonna be. If you'd have said I'm in a very, very healthy relationship, I've got friends who love me and I love them and I'm happy, I'm going to the gym, I've got, I've just got everything going for me right now. And honestly, I, I went through a phase where I thought like I didn't deserve it. It was like a really, that's, I think that's been the biggest struggle, to be honest, this year. Just like thinking that I don't deserve what's being given to me or what I've gone out and got myself. That is, yeah, that's been a real struggle because my whole life I've been bullied and outcasted and just like, it's been awful throughout all of uni. My whole life has just been awful. Now, I'm just so happy. I wish I never went to uni. Honestly, I really do. Like, <laughs> if I knew that this is what life would be like without uni, I wish I never went. So yeah, long story short, I'm feeling pretty damn good. Okay, that's the purple on. Feeling pretty cool, pretty cool. I think I'm gonna go in with planet and then maybe star. I don't know if there's gonna be enough room though. That's the only issue. So I might go in with planet on the same brush that I've just used just to try and like squidge it all up a little bit. I think I probably cut this crease a little bit too high, but you know what, that's fine. I'm just gonna blend on top of that really just to kind of give it a very faint hint of a blend because yeah, we're gonna be struggling a little bit to put that yellow on. But yeah, I've kind of sat down and thought to myself, what do I wanna achieve in the next year by 24? Eee, 24, yep. Um, what do I wanna do? Well, I'm gonna be doing my driving lessons soon, which are very, very scary. Um, I did have a quite close friend pass away this year um, in a car accident. So I was getting ready to do my driving lessons and then I was like, mom, no. Um, so I, I don't know, I'm kind of edging my way reluctantly to doing driving lessons. And also by this time next year, I wanna get a dog. That is something that has been on my list for a very, very long time. I really want a dog ever since Maxie passed away. I've just been like wanting that little companion, you know, and I've been looking, but I've said to myself, I can't get a dog unless I'm driving because I feel like it's not fair on the dog. If I get a dog and it needs to go to the vets or it needs to go somewhere, I've got to be able to drive. So that has been my little deal with myself. <laughs> so as soon as I can drive, I can get a dog. Okay, so I'm just popping this yellow down. I do remember now this yellow is not the most pigmented yellow in the world. It's definitely a more like buildable formula, but I'm, instead of like blending it, I'm more just like packing it on and then I'll use that middle pinky shade just to blend it because I really want this yellow to be seen. Oh my God, also when I'm filming this, I think it's today, make me up misses going into labor. Guys, it's not a drill, it's happening. I am literally, I feel like that parasocial like ant, you know what I mean? Like I'm just like so invested in this and I'm so excited. Like I am so excited for it. So I, I thought I'd just pop that in there if you guys didn't know. I think today's the day. I'm a bit late when this is going live, but that's fine. I might use a yellow that's a bit more punchy. I don't know, I'm just not feeling this yellow for some reason. It's a little bit too subtle for what I'm looking for. So I think I'm gonna dip in to my Carnival XL Pro and the shade Keen, just very, very lightly because this is very pigmented. I don't know, I just feel like you can't see the yellow in this look so far. So I'm gonna try my best not to go all out. I'm trying not to. Yeah, I feel like that's a bit better. It's gone a little bit murky though. Um, oh, I don't know. We can save it because it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No one panic. Okay, what are we thinking of this? This is a little bit better. This has taken a bit longer than I thought it would. Uh, I've been here for 22 minutes now. 
which is great. But yeah, what what else do I want to do? I want to continue like my fitness journey. I've been absolutely loving that. The amount of friends I've made at the gym is so nice. I go to the gym uh, three times a week, like two to three times a week. Not right now because I've been busy pre-filming and on holly bobs, but normally I go like two to three times a week. And the, the friends that I've made there are like so, 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 so good. I don't know, I just feel so confident this year. I think that's what it is. I've got my confidence back this year and I just feel like before I was this like shell of myself in this like horrendous relationship where I couldn't say boo to a goose. And now like, I'm just like so confident. I feel so good about myself. All of my insecurities really have taken a back seat. I wouldn't say they've gone completely, but I did say in a get ready with me recently, um, if you're like thinking about getting cosmetic surgery and things like that, maybe wait until your life is a little bit like better, like in a better situation. Because when I was in a bad situation, I wanted filler, I wanted cosmetic surgery, I hated the way that I looked and it was literally because I was just in such a horrendous environment and now I feel so good about myself. I'm still a little bit baffled. I do have, what is it called? When you like can't believe that this is like your life and you're like a bit like scared of it. Not like scared of it, but like, I don't know. Imposter syndrome, that's it. I've got a little bit of imposter syndrome because like, I don't know, I just can't believe that this is my life now. I feel like I've struggled and struggled and struggled for years. And now everything just seems so easy. Like making friends is so easy out in the real world. Who'd have thought? Like who'd have thought? <laughs> I don't get bullied or shouted at. I don't have anything like that. It's just like childish things that have been dropped and I'm just so happy. This look is not going the way that I wanted it to go. Um, I'm just gonna be saying that. I'm hoping that it is more of a trust the process kind of moment because right now I'm not really feeling it. I'm just gonna keep blending, I guess. I think that's all I can really do. Um, so I'm just gonna keep going, hope for the best. You know what? That's gonna have to do. That's gonna be fine. I feel like once we cut the crease, it'll look a little bit better. I'm hoping so anyway, like this blend isn't really blending. So yeah, right now, I'll be in Seville. I'll just be going out for some tapas on my birthday. That is way too much primer on my eye. What was I thinking? Um, Yeah, I'm gonna be going out, enjoying myself. And this is the first holiday me and Ben have ever gone on together, like a broad holiday. We've done a few like staycations in the UK, but other than that, this is it. Like. This is it, baby. And they say, don't they, like your first holiday, you learn a lot. So that's gonna be interesting. If you're not already, I definitely recommend checking me out on Instagram because I will, of course, be posting some holiday looks. You can all get jealous of uh, my holiday snaps. Oh, if you've never been to Seville, you need to go because you just need to go. Just take my word for it and, and just go. <laughs> but the flights were an absolute steal as well. We got return for both of us was £60. Like train fares aren't that cheap. So of course we had to go. I think once Ben realised that he couldn't say that we didn't have enough money to go anymore. He was like, you know what? Fine, we'll go. <laughs> okay, I decided to do the rest of that cut crease off camera because I kept messing up and then it kept getting higher and higher and higher, and then I was getting stressed. So this is the look so far. I think since we cut that crease, it's a lot better. I'm gonna go back in with this black, and I've looked at the picture, and the inner corners of hers are really dark. I'm, oh my God, someone's mowing the lawn. I'm not gonna keep the inner corners dark. I like a light inner corner, so I'm gonna, have a little bit of a, an edge on mine, a little bit of a difference, if you will. And I am just gonna re-intensify that black wing shape as well. Pre-filming over the past few weeks have been, like, I'm not even gonna lie, it's been absolutely horrendous. Um, <laughs> I know I probably shouldn't say that, but um, yeah, I've never had to pre-film before because as I said, I've not been on holiday for the longest time. 
but I've also never had to pre-film for seven videos a week. Um, it has been the most stress I think I've ever been under in my life. Honestly, it has not been fun. Oh no, it's not been fun. I've really earned this holiday. I've had a lot of like YouTubers message me being like, oh my God, I do not envy you right now. And I'm like, thanks babe, me neither. But here I am. I do it for you guys because I love you all. But yeah, it's been very stressful, especially with a nine to five. And it's, yeah, it's been a lot. But as I'm filming this, I've got about three more videos left to film for my pre-filming. So I'm very, very excited about that. I'm one of those people though that I stress so much. So I'm coming back on the 8th, but I'm gonna try and pre-film till the 12th. And some of you may be like, why? Um, and it is because I am in the office when I come back and I just don't want that stress. I just don't want to stress. So I'd rather stress now and be absolutely up in irate town right now than when I come back, I can be not stressed. That is my plan. I don't know if it's gonna work because knowing me, I will stress at every possible opportunity, but that's my plan. Okay, I feel like this was definitely a trust the process kind of look because I'm actually liking it now. Shocker. <laughs> I did not think I would get to this point, but I think we've kissed and made up. 23 does sound weird. Like it really, really does. I don't feel like an adult. I think that's the thing. I still feel like a child, you know? I still feel like I should be going to school. I still feel like I should be just like doing all the things that kids do but I've not done that for a very long time. So I don't really know why I'm getting these feelings, but I just, I don't feel like I should be this old. I don't know if anyone else has experienced that, but it's just weird. Maybe it's because I've just come out of education, really. I've only been out of education for like a year. So maybe that's the reason, but honestly, I'm like, what am I doing still? I'm just doing the same gradient that I did in the crease, just like along this wing kind of shape to try and blend it out a little bit. And I'm of course gonna put some beautiful glitter on. You know me, I have to put glitter on. Okay, what are we thinking of this? I've never done something like this before. Pretty sure I haven't anyway. It's definitely something a bit different. I'm kind of liking it though. I think when I put my shimmer on, it's gonna be even better and I'm so excited for that. But yeah, I have missed just doing some like crazy looks. I did schedule my look that I did for a get ready with me recently on Instagram today. And it was the like, how do I even describe it? It was like a brown strange cut crease with a blue wing. If you know, you know. And when I was posting that, I was like, oh, I miss doing these like super cool looks. I feel like my looks recently have been a little bit more toned down compared to what they used to be. And so, yeah, I have definitely missed just sitting on camera and just like challenging myself to do different things and do new things because I feel like I just haven't had time. I have been uploading every single day for nearly a year now. And so you kind of lose that when you are like so busy but every now and then it's nice to just come back to your roots and do a crazy eye look okay so i'm thinking this shade moon all over this cut crease area because it is very very pale oh yeah that's beautiful look at that I'm definitely gonna need a brush though with this that is so stunning this yellow definitely isn't like a super vibrant yellow. I found that with this palette. The yellows aren't like super in your face kind of yellows. That is actually just what I want for this shimmer. I just want it to be a super pale, beautiful shimmery shade. And that is exactly what it is. Odin's eye shimmers honestly never fail to just like oh, amaze me. That is so pretty. Oh, I love it. It is definitely strange talking about my birthday now because, I don't know, it is close. What day is it today when I'm filming this? It is the 29th of August when I'm filming this. So my birthday isn't that far away. It is still pretty much around the corner. However, I feel like because I've been so stressed with my pre-filming and stuff, I have not even like had the chance to 
process that it is my birthday coming up. It just seems like a random, you know, random time in the year. I think that as soon as I'm on that plane, as soon as I'm jetting off, that's when it's gonna hit me. And it's gonna be like, okay, this is my time, baby. This is my time to chill out and to do absolutely nothing, to sunbathe. And I'm so excited. I've been wanting to go back to Seville again for honestly like years. Um, So this is my time. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna love every second of it. Okay, these definitely aren't even, but no one's gonna know. Who's gonna know? All right, moment of truth. Are we ready? I'm really scared. I feel like I've been filming forever. I've been filming for 40 minutes. Okay, that looks very, very high. I'm a little bit scared. They're even though. You think? Yeah, I've been filming for 40 minutes. That is kind of crazy. Normally, I film for 40 minutes doing like a full face, but not today. This eye look has really like tested me. So I'm gonna do the wing. And I don't know what shade I'm gonna use for the wing. I'm probably gonna use Inglot Duraline. Hmm, I don't know, mm, what am I gonna do? Should I do a shimmery wing? Or should I do a matte wing? I don't know. This shade is pretty good. It's like with this color story as well. So I might do this one. Okay, so I've got this blue on the brush. I should probably check the picture that I'm going off because right now I'm just like winging it, winging it. <laughs> no, right, okay, right. I've got the picture there. Let's go. This might all go wrong. This is something I really hate about doing these like more in-depth looks because I always get so far and then I'm like, I don't need to go any further. I don't need, I don't need to, it's fine. But no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this part of the look. I hate it so much. Okay, my wing's definitely more low than hers. That's fine. Mine does not look like hers looks. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. How's this? I spent a few more minutes on it. Subtle differences, but I think they look better. Do you think? I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get this even on the other side, but that is a question for about 10 minutes in the future. Is this right? She's done another little bit of like, no, I'm not that brave. I'm not that brave. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, this is the look. I'm, my cheeks have gone red. That is how nervous I am right now. Well, one good thing is we've got the color right. It's definitely the right kind of blue. So win win, yeah, you know, little wins, little wins. I'll take that, I'll take that. And now I've got to do the other side. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this side is definitely bigger than this side, but I don't really know how I'm gonna change that. Yeah, the gap is a lot bigger on this side. <laughs> oh dear. You know what, with lashes on, no one's gonna notice, it's fine. I've been filming for 53 minutes, so I'm gonna go off, do my base. I think this look is so pretty anyway, even if I did do a little bit of a bad job on the wings, it's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna run off camera, I'm gonna do my base, I'm gonna chill out a little bit because that was the most stressful, like 10 minutes of my life, and then I'll be back with a full face. <laughs> Alrighty then, now that I've put this look together a little bit, I actually really like it. The wings are still a little bit uneven, but you know what? That's fine, that's fine. I'll just turn to the side. You, No one's gonna see a thing, it's absolutely fine. I did add some glitter, as you've probably seen, just on the top of the cut crease. I've never placed glitter like this before. Normally, I've just placed it like everywhere, but this is the shade Radiance from the Pastel Roses, and it's like a yellowy, bluey kind of shade. I thought it'd go really well with obviously the wing and then the blend of the eyeshadow as well. And I think it's really cool. In some lights, it's really, really bright blue. And then in other lights, it's kind of like a translucent yellowy kind of shade. So I love that. And you can get 20% off all the pasta roses with code Caitlin20. It's not affiliated, but I just love pushing that code because I love the pastel roses. And if you can get some money off, then go for it. But yeah, this is, this is the look. I kind of like this. I put the blue on the lower lash line. It's the same blue that we used as a wing from this palette. Then what did I do? I used 
Barry M Caution in the waterline. I thought it matched this blue wing color really well. Uh, I was going to use Prance, but I thought it was just a bit too light. I wanted something a little bit darker, so I used this. This is honestly one of my favorite eyeliners ever. It is so short now, and oh, I'm getting a bit worried, to be honest. And then on the lips, I use NYX Fat Oil Slick Click in Linkin Bio. But of course, everything will be linked in the description that I used all over my face. Every single product I will link down there for you. And I, I think I like this look. I do. I was getting very worried. I really was. I was filming for so long. I've been filming now for 55 minutes and I did my base off camera. What is that? It was just, I mean, it was a, a ride, but I think it was worth the ride. I had an emotional roller coaster through this video because I really did not think that this look would come out looking any good at all. But you know what? I really like it and I'm really happy I did take inspiration from another creator and made it my own a little bit, used my own colors and yeah. I quite like it. <laughs> so this is it. I am officially 23 years old living it up in Seville and I, I can't believe it. Time flies so quickly. I feel like I was 22 a month ago. Honestly, it is flown by, but this year has been one of the best years of my whole life. I'm finally so happy. I'm finally put together, it feels like. I finally know my path and I'm really excited for this next year. This time next year, I'll have a dog, I'll have a car, it's all going pretty well for me, I think. Finally, about damn time. But this is it, and this is where I'm gonna love you and leave you today, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. It's been a little bit all over the place, I think, but I just wanted to do a really fun, creative eye look, and I've definitely done that. If you have made it to the end of this video today, comment down below what your dream travel destination is. Of course, I am in Seville, so I thought that's pretty on theme. I hope you have an incredible day, and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video, which I'm pretty sure is going to be updating my everyday makeup drawer, so definitely stick around for that. Alrighty then, bye bye!